Welcome to the craft cocktail. Today we're going to create the cucumber basil lime giblet. Right. That sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Yeah. And, uh, no, it just lists off all of his ingredients in this title. It, it does, yeah. It's, I mean, it's not that complicated. It's two ounces and two ounces. You don't measure, you don't measure basil, basil in ounces. Two basil leaves, two quarter inch cucumber slices, a quarter of lime juice, it's fun to me measure out, um, a, an ounce of lemonade, and an ounce and a half of vodka. We're gonna take the basil, the yeah. cucumber slices, and the lime juice, we're gonna muddle them in the bottom of a shaker. I suggest that. Then we're gonna add the other ingredients, some ice, we're gonna shake it up, yeah. we're gonna add it to the glass, uh, throw a lime wedge and cucumber in there, and that's the drink. That's your garnish. You can garnish it, you don't have to garnish it if you don't feel like it. This recipe kind of builds on the vodka Collins, it kind of builds on the Kaiparoska a little bit. It's, it's kind of a culmination of both of those. I pulled it out of uh, Liquor.com. This is direct from Liquor.com, this recipe. I didn't have to make any modifications. Uh, but it's simple, and it, and it introduces something we haven't used yet, which is basil. Yeah. Right? Oh, we haven't used cucumber either, but it's not that complicated to get. I think basil's a little bit more intimidating to people than cucumbers. I can see that. From a cocktail recipe. Uh, I mean, basil, simple syrup, for instance. I think people take a, a, they get little, there's a little bit of fear to making a, a specialized simple syrup. But at the end of the day, it's water, sugar, and whatever it is put into the simple syrup. It's not it's complicated. A great intro to a, what you might consider a non-standard cocktail ingredient, having basil. Yeah. It's not juice, it's not alcohol, it's an herb. And, and a, lot of, a lot of great cocktails have herbs. Right. And we're all about building upon one thing after the other. So what we do, we shake. A little 10 second shake. 10 second shake. You can shake, I suggest you shake 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, 20 seconds if you're using like a granulated sugar, which you'll see I think in the, I'm gonna say the lemon drop. Uh, you're gonna look at a 20 second shake. If you want to know what all the recipes we're gonna be doing in this series, series one, you can check out homecocktailmenu.com. No, you should check out homecocktailmenu.com. You should purchase uh, the, the entire ebook that covers all 15 recipes because you're going to be able to learn all the drinks we've done, all the drinks we're going to be doing, and taste along with us to be able to experience it firsthand as we're experiencing it. Not sure why I decided. That's a huge piece of ice. I should have just left the whole piece of ice in there. You could also double strain it. Well, look glorious. I like the little pieces in there myself. I know you. Um, if you want to, I would be remiss if I didn't mention. Is that the right way of using that word? Yes, it is. I, this is a tea strainer available at awesomedrakes.com like all of our bar equipment. This gets out your your pieces of basil. I agree on this specific cocktail specifically. The basil nuggets in there. Adds a little bit of texture. I, I don't like it. mint in my drink. I can see mint, yeah, but basil but I like. Basil is, for some reason, I'm okay with basil. It mm. gives it a, a nice uh, basil-y taste. Oh, go bigger. As opposed to a minty taste. <laughs> mint just kind of is cloying and it gets stuck in your teeth. It does. Cucumber. Cucumber is a fun product. So you should definitely pick up a tea strainer. If, when you're ready to get yourself a Boston shaker and you can look above for how to properly shake with a Boston shaker, get your strainer and then your tea strainer and you'll have everything you're going to need to be able to make a drink like that. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. The basil comes out quite, quite a bit. Yeah. But the cucumber really comes out a lot, which is surprising because cucumber is such a muted flavor. Yeah. That usually it's, usually it's a very... Uh, Subtle, Subtle. Very, it's just a hint of a flavor, like in a Hendrix Gin or like right. an Irish Made cocktail or stuff like that. But in here, it comes out pretty heavily, which is nice for two quarter size pieces yeah. of of cucumber to mm. get the type of flavor. And then the lime kind of gives it that back end structure a little bit. But the, the thing is, with lemonade, you can use if you want to do this um, without necessarily using the lime. I would create my own lemonade, which is just sugar and lemon. Right. Then you can balance it out the way you want to have it the right tartness. I like a little bit tart, more tart, mm -hmm. but I know like kids when they're drinking lemonade, like a little sweeter. Right. Um, and that's a great way to make this cocktail your craft cocktail right. by adding your own personal blend right. of lemonade in there. In this case, because we're using off the shelf lemonade, especially if you're making these in volume, and I know liquor.com is probably thinking, you know, you're going to make a bunch of these, right. um, especially if you're going to go through an entire cucumber, the to get that additional uh, acidic bite. That lime, that little bit of lime makes it a little bit of balance. Balance. Yeah. In the and game. I also like the, the fact that we use a European, I like the fact that I picked up a European cucumber as opposed to the standard garden cucumber. Right. It's either a European cucumber or a, uh, what are the pickling cucumbers called? Like the, 
the smaller squat pickling, ones. Pickling cucumber. <laughs> is that what it's called? I think so. Pickling cucumber because the seeds are less. And when you're muddling, what you don't need is a whole pile of seeds in there. You're going to want more of the flesh, yeah. I think. Yeah, you That's, don't even see any seeds in there. Yeah, you, you want to have less seeds. So a European cucumber in a drink like this is going to make uh, just a little bit, uh, little bit better, a little less messy, mm. I think. Uh, so remember, homecocktailmenu.com. Pick up the ebook so that you can learn how to make the drink that we suggest you make, the Cucumber Basil Lime Gimlet.